Hey, how you guys doing, man? It's Joe D, and welcome to another Share a Beer Show 377. I still have not figured out a way to make this a podcast, but because I would love for this to be, I, I guess I would have to go back and manually download it or, or something. Or maybe this new YouTube thing will be a solution. Maybe, maybe I do it. You know, I just thought about that, Mark. Maybe I do it like uh, some other people do their shows, how they kind of, it's live. Mm -hmm. But they do it to a podcast. And they, yeah, they, they do it to a Skype recording and then they post it. Oh. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So, you, like, we could still do it on, I don't know, I'm yeah. getting it too complicated, I guess, but I, maybe we could do it on Tuesdays. <laughs> it gets posted, you know. Yeah, on, I don't know. We got we got we got to think about that because yeah, I mean, yeah. Like you're saying we got to. I've got a. I took a real quick look at that page, uh, Sunday night or something like that, and looks like you got to download something and yeah, install something I, and code. So um, maybe we just need to do like a demo one, a, tr a trial, and see what happens. Yeah, and I guess what because it's the twelfth. September 12th. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be two weeks. Yeah, we're just under three weeks out. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's going to have to. I'm going to have to make time here. I can, man, I couldn't be busier. So, yeah. ooh, it's going to get down to crunch time, I'll tell you that. Um, I'm going to try to do something with it late this week, maybe this weekend. I think I've got some time to be able to. Yeah. Work I'm going to have to. See. I'm going to have to make time, I think, Thursday or something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mm -hmm. Tomorrow's already kind of getting. T tomorrow's Wednesday. Sometimes my catch-up day for stuff, but I still have my my two cards right here. I haven't even backed them up yet. Oh I'm wow! Okay. Here. I have not even. I have not. It literally doesn't take that long. I, it's. Oh yeah, no, that's just yeah. <laughs> I could probably do it if I could find my card reader. That's another issue. I don't know where my card reader's at. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I had seen it earlier, and I don't know. I, I can't seem to find stuff right now. So, yeah, that's another issue is I can't find my card reader. And I hate to buy another one just because I can't find that one because I know it's here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, that's another. Yes, yeah, so I still have to get to the – I'm already getting bugged for those images. So yeah. I'm like – I haven't even seen him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did some semi cool things with, with that one. So it's, uh, but in any case, yeah, I have to probably Thursday. Mm -hmm. Just, just really just, you know, as soon as I get home from work, you know, grab a beer, sit down, and yeah. just right. put two hours to it and see if I can figure yeah. it out. It doesn't look. Like it'll take that long, but you got to th go through a few steps, and then right. it looks like once you get it set up, then it's just like opening an app, basically. I think that's what it is. You just double click on it, maybe it loads up, and you go. I mean, it's so. Yeah, I, 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 I think once it's set up, it yeah. kind of stays that way. I think you know, it's just, yeah. just a matter of learning it. What well, you know, mm -hmm. it, it. What is you? They're having you do stuff that they would do maybe in the background for this. Yeah, I mean, I think that's. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense to you? Yeah, I think I think that's probably exactly the way they're doing it. So. So now they're like, uh, yeah, here's all these tools. You do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, we're not going to pay people to do this anymore, so you can have it for free. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you get to do all this stuff. So uh, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Um. Yeah. And the only people in the tech world that I hear talking about it are slamming Google Plus anyway because they think that Google Plus sucks. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, Google Plus has been a failing platform since it started. Almost. In, yeah. in no, their, I, I'll give them. I'll give them the first. What they start? When they launch in June 2011? Yeah, I think it was June 2011, and I'll give them until September. And then after that, then they're just like, okay, that was fun. Let's start thinking about something else, and we'll just leave it out there. <laughs> and you listen to the guys in the tech world, and I swear to God, they're just like, yeah, Google's been a failing platform since it started. Mm. And the, you know what I'm saying? Just because they, they didn't get into it, you yeah. know? Yeah. Are but you there, Bob? Like, 
Uh, hmm. I don't know if I am or not. This, it, if I yep. get bounced off again, this will be it for me for tonight. I'm going to throw in the towel. <laughs> Because uh. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna throw his his device. That's what it is. Yeah, he's gonna throw. He's yeah. gonna throw the tablet and pop a beer and just start drinking heavily. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At, so, right, right now, as it stands, I'm watching. The only way I can see anything is I'm I'm watching the show on my computer on YouTube. Okay. I'm getting nothing on my tablet right now, even though obviously it's still apparently. Uh, it's still uh, the camera's on me and it's still working, but I'm getting a message on my tablet saying, "Unfortunately, Hangouts has stopped." Huh. And on the pre-show when I did that, it uh, it knocked me off as soon as I hit OK, the option of OK or record oh, or whatever. Okay. So now, now you just now have it I'm open with the error message and watching it on YouTube, yeah. huh? And it won't let me reboot the tablet. It's saying there's an internal error, or something or other. The only thing I use this tablet for is share a beer, so I don't know what the deal is. Yeah. Now, the now the tablet's actually shut off. There, I got a blank screen. Oh, okay. So <laughs> yeah, we can still see and hear you. Yeah, so that, it, you know, you're on our end. You're it. Nothing's wrong. It's weird. It, Bizarre. It's, it's one well, of those I'm ways. I'm on my computer on YouTube. Oh, okay, yeah. that still works, Joe. We're good. Yeah, I guarantee I, w I, I guarantee I won't last the hour with this rig, the way it's rigged. <laughs> well, we we could go back old school and have you in the Q and A. I'm I'm the the, the Q and A is open. So yep. <laughs> yeah, Q and A it's is open. Open for what? Two more weeks, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. I should get on there, Paul. Uh, we'll figure I something out here. See, we got to drink a beer, and then we can come up with an idea. Yeah, lizard. So, what what is five that? lizards? I this is something I got in Illinois. Uh, five lizards. Five lizard. Latina style, Latin style wit beer. It is brewed by Five Rabbit Brewery. And Google had that in here. I swear. Oh, okay. They are good. Five Rabbit Brewery. Okay, so you've got Bedford Park, Illinois, I think. Yeah. Yeah, same bottle too they have on there. Let's see. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is one of the ones I picked up at the uh, at the uh, oh. <laughs> grocery store in uh, Illinois when we were hanging out. So dollar six dollar sixty eight. Dollar sixty eight. Okay. Dollar sixty eight. So I don't for know a bottle. If that's good or or no, it, was, it was like a built, pick your own six pack thing. So oh, okay, I okay, okay. This is one of them. But yeah, it looks like a. Now I don't know what the difference is between a wit beer and a Latin style wit beer. Does it sing like well, cucaracha to you or something? I don't know. I they in, on on BA it has it just as a wit beer. Oh, okay, this has. Oh, okay, yeah, it has. It's got uh, passion fruit. That's what I'm tasting. So it's got lime and passion fruit. So it's, yeah, it's definitely got that passion fruit kind of flavor. So it's almost like a, was that a chaleta? Is that what they? No, that's oh. tomato. That's tomato, yeah. right? Yeah. But this is a wit beer with passion fruit. So, so it's got that. Cit it's almost like a mango. Mango passion yeah. fruit are pretty close, I think. So, oh, there it goes, bum. Yeah, I think that was it for the day. <laughs> So I hope you enjoy your beer, bum. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but no, this is actually pretty good. It's pretty tasty. I mean, it tastes more like a, a fruit beer than a wit beer. Okay. You, know, you know, wheat beer's got that little bit of that grassy kind of. So I'll tell you, I'll tell you their description here. I'll look, I'll, I'll share the screen, show you their description okay. from uh, this would be wow. from. Um, Okay, beer advocate. Beer advocate. It, Five Lizard is a creamy and refreshing wheat beer with some spicy complexity, a light touch of passion fruit for a, a delicious, uh, slightly exotic flavor. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. No, I, I I would agree with that. I mean, it is. It does have a um, kind of a little fuller, uh, slightly creamy kind of uh, you know, flavor to it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty tasty. It's kind of a twist on a wheat beer. I haven't had a wheat beer like this. Uh, Four point three percent is what they're showing here. Okay, yeah, it's it's definitely a light 
it's a light one. 20 IBUs, I think. Okay. And let me take my picture here, see what we got. This will be another unique login for Untapped. Well, right now, see, while you're doing that, we've got on Untapped 21,202 postings for this. You've got 16,586 uniques at the time of this mm -hmm. video and 411 this month. So, yeah. So I, uh, I bet it's, it probably comes out early summer. I would bet. But is, does it say it's a seasonal? No. It. On here, I don't know if you. Well, let's see. Hmm. Get more information on here than I thought. Uh, yeah, that's the oh, okay. That's the full website. I don't. It doesn't say it's a seasonal. Yeah, um, I'd say it's it's a little bit of a novelty flavor. I mean, you know, it's kind of got that. Yeah, like maybe, <clears throat> like maybe we're having it once, and that might yeah, be I mean, about it. I'm glad I. Try. I mean, it's tasty, but I'm I'm giving it like a three and a half out of five. It's more fruit than wheat beer. <laughs> I love this. Look at these guys' review. They're the spit or swallow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at these guys! This is great. Great. Oh my god. Oh, these guys must be from Chicago. Yeah, these guys are. Great. Look at that. that. Spit or swallow beer review. That's cool. <laughs> Can you hear it at all or no? No, I can't hear it. Yeah. But it's it's great. Yeah. See this this is this is what's uh this is what beer reviewing should be. Huh? Yeah, this this is this is this is some look at I I love how they got a Apple reader right there. Yeah, see? There They're go. in the front of coronation. Boom. Representing. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, Love it. it was about Miller High Life. Got his Miller shirt on. All right. I'm on the track phone. I'm back on the track phone. All right. <laughs> That's emergency plan B. Um, hey, whenever yeah. you have a technical problem, go down in technology. That's right. Go That's back. what you do. You, you go backwards with technology, and then it will work. That's how, that's how things. Oh man, oh, that's Ooh. hilarious. The track phone, that's great. But you're working. Yeah. All right. All right. There you are. All right. So, what are you drinking? Um, well, uh, I am drinking Sam Adams Oktoberfest. Okay. And I'm drinking it in my. Once again, I don't know if this is on camera until I see it on YouTube. No, don't see it yet, but yeah. Uh -oh. oh, okay. You got a Oktoberfest Stein. Yeah, yeah this is a vintage, that. vintage etched Sam Adams Oktoberfest Stein. Got to have the proper glass. That is proper that glassware. Yeah, I mean that's definitely proper glassware. Yeah, that's like yeah. a liter too, isn't it? That's a. That's yeah, like it, a... I'm not sure how much it holds. It holds a lot. <laughs> is, that, is that two beers in there? Yeah, that's at least two is beers. Is that a two beer one? Probably. That's probably a liter. Oh, yeah. It's a liter glass. I'm just drinking and refilling and drinking and refilling, so okay. I'm not even sure. How you had to buy a whole actually. case of the stuff, right? You probably bought a case of it. Well, no. Actually, that, that Stein itself was a send away with the coupon years and years ago. It was like. You know, send in this coupon, ten bucks, and a couple UPCs, and okay. No, but I mean, you bought a case of the of the current Oktoberfest. Oh, I, I bought a twelve pack, yeah, a in cans. Pack. Okay, all right. Oh, okay, in cans. Okay, all right. Yeah. So, re remains even even years later remains my favorite one of my favorite Oktoberfests. You know, it is. It's a really good beer. It is a good beer. Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, it, it's funny too. We don't really. S I don't. I don't know too many people that slam Sam Adams that hard. You know what I'm saying? No. They're 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 definitely getting to be big beer ish. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But they've still kind of. Uh, I don't hear too much. You know, too much negativity about. I'm gonna probably hear a, a bunch now. Watch you watch this yeah. video come out. They do make a lot of bad stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mediocre. Mediocre stuff. Mediocre. Yeah, 
and, and I think it's just because they make so much stuff. Yeah. You know, they they try. They keep it, it's the same with Dogfish Head. I mean, those between those two breweries, good god, you have to have 18 different beers a year, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like it's yeah. crazy. Well, what's what does Sam say in their commercials? Uh, we brew sixty different beers, so if you're brewing sixty, you're bound to have a clunker. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It's kind of hard not to have a couple that aren't yeah, quite you, as good. It, you're not brewing sixty good beers, right? Great mm-hmm. beers. Right. You know, you're, right. you're brewing sixty beers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they do have some great. They do have some great beers. There's pr- what you know. There's probably, I think, four or five that, you know. Uh, that would probably people would consider really really super strong beers. The majority of them are just good straight up craft beer. Yeah. And then yeah. there's a few that are not so good. Right, right, yeah. right offhand, what what would you just since we're talking about them, what what would you say is your your two favorite Sam Adams beers? I like mine. The, yeah, either way. No, I was going to say that the chocolate Bach and the. Um, Oh, what was that other one they had? Didn't they do a... Their winter lager is actually really good, too. Yeah, the winter I'm, lager. I'm yeah. going to pass that out as a, as, a pretty good, as a pretty good one. But I really like, really like their chocolate box, that specialty one they've had. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That, you, you know, that's one of my favorites, for sure. What, I, what's I, the Unobtainium or that one that they do in the, the Super... Infinium. Infinium. I've never had it, but I've heard a lot of people say it is a pretty solid beer. Well, the the Infinium is the one that came in a champagne bottle. Uh, the mm-hmm. one that comes in like the uh, uh, the what you call it? The uh, oh god, what do you call it? It's it, oh Utopias is the one that uh, Utopias, yeah, yeah, yeah. Utopia. yeah mm-hmm. One hundred fifty dollars a bottle. Yeah, yeah. I've never tried that one. No, but, uh, I probably never will either unless somebody else buys it for me because I'm never going to pay that much for well, a bottle. Well, Greg had a few bottles, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he got a couple of bottles. Greg of it. had a, a different years too, I think, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, did that'd be the way to do it? Do a vertical tasting of. Um, I don't. I don't remember Greg talking super highly about it too. I think it's just because it was more like a liquor. Yeah. From, from the if I remember from the, his description of it, he would talk about it more like a liquor. You know. Yeah. It is a pretty strong beer, from what I remember. Right. I mean, it's. 14, 15 yeah. percent, something like that. Yeah. Does anybody remember the triple buck that came in the little cobalt blue bottles? It was a no. barley wine. Uh oh. No, I don't. I do, but they, I never had it. I never had it. Yeah, you know. it was that was excellent. They haven't made that for probably over ten years now. I love yeah. that. You have to be into barley wines though. I'm still well, yeah, like barley wines. That's for sure. You just can't pound a barley wine. Is my mm-hmm. problem? Like you can't. Well, you can, but not you recommended. Could. Yeah. Yeah, it's not recommended, and you're probably only going to get if you've got a ten ounce barley wine. You're probably going to get to that twentieth and done, son. Like that, you're probably finished for the night. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be a good outcome if you do. No, um, no. I, I'm still the the chocolate box is definitely one of my faves, and then I'm still a huge fan of their light. I think they have the best oh, light yeah. beer. That yeah, around. I would agree that I haven't had that in a few years, but um, it is a, it's one of the best light beers out there. Yeah, yeah. If you're gonna drink light beer, you might as well drink Sam Adams light because it's yeah. got real flavor and yeah. some color and. Yeah. And, and then I'm still a huge fan of the Boston Lager, but just mm-hmm. the, the the standard. You know, Boston Lager. Sometimes I still feel the need to, and, and and on the box, you know what? You know what? What beer I'm still, you know, I think some people are. I'm going to hear about this too, but I still like the uh, uh, the one from Michelob that 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 regular Bach that they have. Oh, uh, the Amber Bach. Amber Bach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a decent session type of beer. Mm-hmm. You know. I would agree. I mean, that is not. I mean, I'll buy. I tend. Seems like every year I end up buying a six pack of that. You know, at some point, usually in the fall. Yeah. No. I. 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 I can't even remember the last time I bought it. But I just. I, I thought about the. You know. I was like, oh, okay, box. You know. Uh, that's one of them that I buy. You know, it's not. Like you said, probably. A, I end up with maybe a sixer. Uh, mm-hmm. By the end of the year, you know, like. Mm-hmm. Yep. Eight, uh, uh, so what? What were you? So you were drinking. 
the Oktoberfest, and from the looks of it, bum, that looks like your that's gonna be the beer for tonight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> never far, empty, the never empty liter glass of, of Oktoberfest. Yeah, that kind of call me crazy, but I'm just <laughs> yeah. Something's telling me. The cool thing about uh, the design of this and being a lefty is I get to look at the uh, Oktoberfest logo as I'm drinking it. Mm -hmm. Unlike unlike everybody else, other than you two guys, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, yeah. That, um, that is the advantage to being left-handed. You know, all those glasses yeah. and everything, when you drink them, you can actually read the logo. You don't, who cares what the other people can say? I want to see what I'm drinking. Right. Yeah. That's right. Come on. You know, th that's funny. This is this is a left-handed uh, share beer, yeah. huh? Yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. Lefties. Yeah. Lefties rule. Uh, lefties. I, I, I don't know if you guys know, we all, all three of us here, we have more bilateral brain activity than right-handed people. I don't know what the hell that means, but we. And I don't we know if it's it. good or bad, but yeah, we do. Yeah. I, I I would think in my case it's horrible. Like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if people are like that's a good thing. Yeah. It it They're is like, true. Oh, yeah. You know that old saying. What is it? Left left-handed people are in their right mind. Yeah. 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 That, so. that, that that's 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 a trip. I don't run into that too much where uh, I am. In, uh, unless I'm with my immediate family, my immediate family were all left-handed. Really? Is your your mom's left-handed? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. See, not neither of my parents were, but my grandfather on my dad's side, my dad's father was. I don't know about on my mom's side, but uh, yeah. I mean, I'm 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 perfectly happy being left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> the way that came out was, <laughs> he was like, I'm, 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 I'm perfectly happy. <laughs> You're, the reason I say that way is, is because I, <laughs> I remember as a kid having other people in the class, like in first grade, when they're teaching you to write and stuff. Oh yeah. I was probably right at the end of teachers trying to switch you if you were left-handed. You had to learn how to mm. do right-handed and. Yeah, and um, I remember there was a, there was a couple kids in my class that were left-handed, but it was more at home, not at school. But at home, their parents told them they had to learn how to do stuff right-handed because that's mm -hmm. you know, and my parents never ever made you know, whatever whatever I am, I am. No, they might regret <laughs> that now, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, you know we, we accept you the way you are too, Mark. Damn, we should have made him. We should have made him right, right-handed. <laughs> Fifty years ago, damn, we should have made him right, right-handed. That that kind of used to be a thing, right? They they you know uh, your teachers or somebody if you were left-handed would definitely yep. try to. It it's why I I do certain things right-handed as well. Um, mm -hmm. But I I I, I do write left-handed primarily, but yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's one of those things that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's. Uh, I do yeah. pretty much everything left-handed except for stuff that I learned how to do that there wasn't any left-handed alternative like um, golf. All I had was right-handed clubs, so I learned how to golf right-handed. But I play well, baseball left-handed. I bowl poorly left-handed, um, and other type of stuff. So. Yeah, that it, golf is a tough one, right? Because because man, to get left-handed clubs is uh, yeah. Well, golf is such a a natural motion anyway. It doesn't matter whether you do it left or right-handed; it's still ass backwards. I mean, you know, the whole the whole golf swing is just not. <laughs> we weren't made to to do that. I mean, our bodies just were not designed to swing golf clubs. <laughs> I think we have a show title, right? We weren't made to do that. Yes, our bodies weren't designed <laughs> to do that. <laughs> How you doing, Jeff? I'm doing well. Yourself? Uh, well, we're not made to do that. <laughs> yeah, we're not made to do that. So I jumped in late, but I'm drinking uh, Evil Genius from Connecticut. Hmm. And this is called I Love Lamp. I don't know why. And it's a pineapple with uh, hefeweizen. Oh, okay. So we got a, kind of got the same theme. I just finished drinking this one, Five Lizards, which was a passion fruit wit beer. Okay. So kind of the same type 
kind of like a tropical themed wheat beer. Well, this is uh, I haven't had any of them from them. I was down in I don't get this in New Hampshire. I was in Massachusetts uh, the other day picking up a few beers that I can't get here, and this was one of them. So. Okay. I mean, well, it looks it's, like, you know, it's yellow and it's it's not much head. And <coughs> pineapple, you can notice the pineapple all the way. Is it a, a fairly strong pineapple, or is it kind of subdued? I it, I can't really tell. I, it, I just I don't notice a. They say a, a, a ale with natural flavors added. So mm, okay. I don't know what that means. So that means that means the brewmaster is like, okay, we're almost done. Come over, let and the guy in a lab coat comes on, yeah. put some stuff in the batch. <laughs> so I mean, it's all oh, right. It's natural flavor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's natural flavor. It's a good summer type beer. It's yeah, nothing special to it. It's just kind of well, it's yeah. not bad. You know, it's easy not drinking, bad. low ABV probably. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I don't know. I didn't look at the um, this this thing. I could have I could have drank a whole six pack of this stuff, Joe. What was it? Four point three percent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, this is, this is almost just like water, really. Flavored water. Yeah, the body's thin. I don't know what the ABV is on this. It doesn't say. But you're probably right. Is there really? Five, is there really? Uh, well, you, between you know your your wheat beers are, are. Is there anybody that really like goes out of their way? Do you, I don't know anybody that's really specifically like a wheat beer lover, like like that's their style. You uh, know what I'm saying? Like that. Their their go to beer is a wheat beer. You know, I, I don't mind the style, but I, you're right, Joe. I don't really. It's not something I would. It's not like my first choice, but I don't yeah. mind having them on yeah. an ice cream day. Yeah, yeah. it's. I, mean, it, I, you know, I think that's the way most people do it. It's yeah. like, yeah, they're good beers, and I'll enjoy it when it's hot outside or whatever. But right. if yeah. given a choice, I'd rather have an IPA or I'd have a stout or a you know. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah they, you you meet a lot of people that are the IPA guys. Mm -hmm. Well, people, I should say, because there's a lot of women out there. It is, so you've got IPA people, you've got uh, your your diehard lager people, you've got people like me that loves, uh, you know, other different ales, uh, you know, browns for sure. I love mm -hmm. browns. Uh, you know, you meet fans of a lot of different styles, but but we, I don't know. Yeah, no. We are unique. Just one of those. You know, there's are some sours for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. One of my local beer stores tonight was doing a an all sour tasting. I almost mm -hmm. went down, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to drink all sours for an hour. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, sours are one of those that yeah, it's like IPAs. Either people like either you like sour or you don't usually. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's one of those things that. But you know, yeah, because if if it's too bitter uh, of an IPA, I'm probably only going to go too deep. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It, I I can get you know I can definitely appreciate really good high hopped uh, IPAs, um, but I'm probably only going to go a couple deep on that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like it's it's a uh, it. it, it for me, it's that kind of. It, I love. We were talking about the uh, the big beers earlier. Uh, uh, what was that style again? The uh, uh, the Bach, like the barley wine. Barley, barley wine. wine. Yeah, the barley wine. I love barley wines, but good God, I mean, you yeah, know, I do too. I mean, yeah. eight or ten ounces, man, and I'm good. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? I, yeah, I love barley wines. I love old ales. I love Scotch ales. I love that yeah. malt character, you know? Old ales, yeah, the malt, yeah, I, that's exactly Jeff, the, the yeah. malt. So what are you drinking, Mark? I am drinking. You were talking dogfish head. I picked up a four pack of this stuff. Beer to drink to music. Oh, beer, beer to drink music too. Oh, I've seen that. I think I had one. I'm not sure. Yeah. It's a um, it's a uh, triple Belgian triple style, um, and it was brewed, I guess, in honor. They call it the official beer of National Record Store Day. So, wow. Well, and what day is that? Do they have uh, that? April sixteenth. April sixteenth. Huh. So, but if, they don't have we, a date on here, so I don't know how old. <coughs> my, my guess is this is from this spring. You have a triple. So I did it paired with that Molly Hatchet, uh, Mark. Yes, this is the beer I had with Molly Hatchet on Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, this, that that beer has been out for a few months, Mark. I've seen mm -hmm. it around. I think I had it sometime last May, maybe June. Yeah. Sometime. Yeah. Record store day is it's mid-April, so they probably really you know it's probably like a spring. Yeah. Special release, 
But it's well, nine point. It's nine. Speaking of like getting into the heavy beers, this is nine percent. Yeah, so, well, it's a triple. It better yeah, be. Yeah, it's a triple, and it's a it's a good beer. This is the second one of the four pack. I had Ooh, the first nice one looking. on Saturday. It looks good. Yeah. Oh, it's very nice. good, and it's a very good, um, very good example of the style. I love triples. It's one of my favorite styles. Yeah, just lots of flavor, a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of malt. You know, just um. And get some of that dark fruit and spice in there. Real good stuff. Yep. And it's a Delaware brewery, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, that is Delaware. Yep. <laughs> I can make Delaware in about 12 hours if I really want. Yeah. <laughs> I could make it in less than 12 hours, dude. I go to the airport, swear to God, I'm there. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to claim that driving, Joe. And we're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I could make it in less than 12 hours, man, so I got you beat. It's more local to me. <laughs> yeah. you, can, you get that truck, you can barrel on through. Yeah, just, if I get to the airport, man, I'll get to Phoenix International here, man, and it's on. <laughs> yeah. I'll be there in five or less. Yeah, I'll be there in five, exactly. It's only a short plane ride and an Uber away, my friend. That's, that's it. <laughs> yep, yep. That's cool, Mark. Yeah, so that's uh, okay. yeah, very tasty beer. Beer to drink music too is a golden orange brew with forward notes of toffee. Uh, what is this? Cardamom? Car yep, Carmen? Cardamom, which is, a, which is a spice, yeah. Cloves and uh, some notes of vanilla. Yeah, yeah, that's a good. I had it. You know, it was a pretty decent beer. I had it a few months ago, like I said, mm -hmm. and I, you know, I only had the one, so I didn't buy a four pack like Mark did, but. Uh, you know, I like the one I had. You know, so. it, was it was nine nine ninety five for the four pack, so not too bad. This is driving me nuts. You can see. You go here and look at look at this. What what is this? Yeah. You know, I mean, who wants to do this? You know, you know, I, I hate I hate these web these beer sites. You got a key in your date. For one thing, mm -hmm. I'm so old, I have to scroll down so long. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like damn it's it. A year for one thing, but yeah. not only that, it's just. If I, I prefer the ones that say yes, no. Are you 21? Yes or no? And they click yeah. right. Out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've got an original release date uh, in 2016, so that's a, that's a new beer. Yeah, must have come out for this year's record store yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty yeah. cool, man. I've got so, two more left, so I got I've got I've got to find two more albums to listen to while I drink this beer. So. Hey, hey, Mark. Uh -huh. Hey Mark, what kind of record do you have? I'm curious. I'm, I, I'm, I don't get off beer too much, but I had, I, I worked in radio broadcasting for about uh, 18 years, and I have a pretty good sized record collection. You know, I like okay. those, those pictures. What, how many records do you think you got? I've got a couple hundred at this point. Yeah. Um, and I have uh, the turntable I have is called a pro project or project mm -hmm. uh, debut carbon. Yeah. So it's it's about. A, what did I pay for it? I paid about four hundred dollars for it. I, see, I'd like to get a new turntable. Mine is the circa nineteen eighty Akai that I've been using since I was in college. It's and probably I've got, a perfectly fine turntable. Yeah, it's got I a mean, lot of rumble. It's it's a belt driven, so it's got a lot of rumble. Oh, on okay. Well, mine but, is mine's belt belt driven, but I bet you if you had some more local, they could probably you know a uh, like an old audio shop or something, they could probably yeah. tune it up. I, I got about uh, seven hundred record albums. But I bought them mostly in the 70s and 80s and 90s, you know. Mm -hmm. And working in radio as I did, I used mm -hmm. to get a lot of throwaways, these things that were destined for the dumpster. Mm -hmm. and so I, if you look at my record collection, you're going to say, I never heard of half of the stuff you listen to. Yeah. But, you know. that's, that's half the fun. I mean, you know, I mean, I try to find um, stuff from when I was growing, you know, music that I listened to growing up and yep. the original yep. vinyl. But oftentimes I just find stuff, you know, like I'll go into the bargain bin and find stuff for a dollar or two bucks that. It's like, yeah, the record's in good shape. It's only cost me two bucks. I'll buy it just for the hell yeah. of it, you know, just to yeah. try it out. And every now and then, some of those records have some real collectible mm -hmm. value if you get the right one. Yeah, you know, and if it's bad, you just drink a couple beers and then listen to it, and it sounds great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nothing a few beers can't fix. That's you know right, what I mean? man. <laughs> hey, my... Now I'm going to put an album on, I guess, afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> my next beverage is Lana. Uh, it, it's 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 from Atlanta. Oh, okay. You're gonna have that rare oh, Atlanta pepper. Oh, Dr. Pepper. 
<laughs> That's just Moxie in disguise. <laughs> yeah, Moxie. Yeah, wow. There you go. Yeah, you're not. Yeah, you, that's dude. You scrolled way down in the years for that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You're you're still scrolling on that one, Moxie. I don't even know. Is you know, and the problem too, Jeff, is that uh, all of us here understand reference. That sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, but it's for me. You know, it's Maine's main soft drink. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. That's a, that's what sucks too. Is you're old enough to even understand the reference, 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 <laughs> Maybe you muted. Wow. Him. There it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you said ref, and it just went ref, 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 ref. Oh, it did really. Yeah, it's like the world's biggest echo chamber. Mm. That that happened you know, once before, a month or so. Remember that, Joe? Mm. I was telling you about that. It did it for like a minute straight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I I did remember. As soon as he said that, I thought of what Bum told me a while back. Yeah. Yeah, because I, th I thought it was me. I'm so used to it being me all the time. This. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, Bum was kind of self-conscious about it. He was like, "Uh, darn it!" No, it's not you. It's just Google. <laughs> yeah, it's just Google. Exactly. Yeah, Google's I'm on the monolithic tech company. Get, getting back. The uh, Moxie thing, Jeff. Being wh where you're from, I'm sure you're familiar with those old signs. With Ted Williams advertising Moxie, I'm sure you've I've seen, seen them. I've seen, yeah, yeah, they're collectibles. Actually, I see them sometimes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I have I have a tin sign that they took the original Moxie at. It's one of those cheapo tin signs you can buy, and they've changed it to uh, Ted's Creamy Root Beer. But you can oh, tell okay. from the it was originally the Moxie sign. Yep. Hmm. No, I've I've seen those around. Yeah, Moxie. Yeah, they, did they paint them on the side of barns and that kind of stuff? Probably. Uh, yeah. oh, were they cardboard signs, or did they just uh, did they put the, just put them up in in stores? I'm not sure what they were originally used for. Yeah, I'm not an expert on the topic. I know I've seen them occasionally, but I don't know the, really the history of them much. Yeah. If you Google Ted Williams and Moxie, you'll I'm sure you'll see a bunch of images come up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, Moxie is, I mean, it still sells around here. I can find it in the stores. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Well, they still make it. I didn't know that. It's, well, yeah, it's, it's out of Maine, so it's one of those kind of New England traditions. You can find it more likely in stores around my area than you would in your areas. Oh, well, then you wouldn't have to be that old for the reference. You just have yeah. to know they still, I, I had no it's idea. Clark bars. Clark yeah. Bars for, yeah, same thing. I've got some of those Clark bars too. Yeah, yeah. I'm yep, yep. sent you some of those Clark bars. I think yep. I got two. Yeah. I think, I think it's I actually. Uh, I think the company's owned by the Royal Crown Cola Company these days. Oh, yeah. Crown Royal. I think so. I'm not sure. They always seem to be put next to Royal Crown. You know, when you go oh, to the store. Yeah. Okay, stuff. so you got like RC Cola, and then you have Moxie right next to mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah. The, well, the, Moxie used to be it, right? I mean, that was the uh, one. One big, big brand, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a it was big in New England, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. So anyway, <laughs> that's why Ted Williams was on because he was on the Red Sox at the time, right? Yeah, yeah. I was trying to find some. Uh, I haven't even had time to go through my beer stories. <clears throat> no charge. That's one of them good Dr. Pepper burps right there, man. <laughs> established in 1885. Anything you guys drinking that's got that kind of vintage on it, man? Yeah. <laughs> this was 1980, no, 1995 maybe? Yeah, yeah the only beer that's got that vintage is like uh, Schaefer or Sch Schlitz or something. <laughs> yeah, or, Budweiser. Uh, Budweiser. Yingling. 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 Yingling, that's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, Yingling has that. Yeah, Yingling. Yeah, 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 right. I Earth sure wish. I, I sure wish the Yingling would come out this way. You know, mm -hmm. um, it, it it the one Yingling that I've had was 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 pretty decent. I would I would drink. That's a that's a definite 
really, really good kind of everyday beer. You know, it is decent. It's in, it's not in New Hampshire, but it's in Massachusetts, so I can get it down there if I scoop half hour down the border. But for some mm -hmm. reason, it's not here in Massachusetts or New Hampshire yet. So the, now that the Olympics are over, what 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 did did any of you guys watch much of the Olympics? What was I your? Watched, I watched no some of some of it. I watched most of the ones with women in small uh, clothing. <laughs> Yeah, they they uh man, them outfits, they just wow, huh? Yeah. yeah like, well they they're marketing to a certain segment, you know, and it's yeah, yeah, and yeah. you're looking at four of them right here. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're marketing yeah, to it's, 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 I watched some of the volleyball, I watched a little lacrosse. Okay. I think I watched some gymnastics. It wasn't something I really went out of my way to watch, but yeah. I was kind of flipping around the odd dials and watched a little bit of it, you know? Yeah. I watched uh, I watched a lot of track and field. I watched um, uh, a lot of as much rowing as I could find. That should I, that just that's a sport full of pain and pain and suffering there. Rowing. You ain't kidding. How, how did that rowing go? Did we hear anything about the water? Those type of athletes. I know that was the water specifically. Well, the thing they were the thing they were fighting there was the wind. They uh -huh. had um, there was a lot of waves and chop and stuff. And there was a couple of days where the the waves were enough that the boats were starting to fill up with water as they were rowing. You know, the waves uh -huh. were breaking over the side. So, and I watched. Um, I didn't. I didn't watch gymnastics. They they hype that too much. I watched a little bit of swimming. Swimming was pretty cool. And of course, Ryan Lochte, our, our rocket scientist uh, swimmer there. Yeah, I'm hearing so, a lot about him uh, now. Yeah. Did, did you guys see the post? It was um, oh, boy, one of the uh, Brazil papers. It was a picture of him, and it was liar, liar, speedo on fire. <laughs> <laughs> speedo <laughs> already dropped him, didn't they? Yeah, they, they dropped him. They did, him yeah. A couple days ago, yeah. So. They said that wasn't the image that they wanted to put out there. Or oh, something come on. Like you that. want a drunk swimmer? Come on. I mean, you know, it's like uh, <laughs> trash, trash in a bathroom. His great statement, I'm reconsidering drinking. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Good idea. What, what, you know, when I heard uh, Speedo's reply that they didn't want that kind of image and all that, I'm like, you're a Speedo. What? I mean... <laughs> I don't have any image. I, the image I have of you is uh, fruit basket. You know what I'm saying? I don't want somebody. It. Somebody said no. the only the only people that wear speedos are swimmers, Olympic swimmers, and then old 55 year old overweight Italian guys. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Like. I don't. You know. I don't. I don't. Uh, yeah. You, you're. You're one of. Yeah. You're a company that supports fruit baskets, man. Come on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Bana banana hammocks. Like banana hammocks, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. I don't think that you, I don't know, whatever. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. I just, yeah. uh, did you watch any bum? You know what? Um, I, very, very little. I've lost. I've lost interest over the years. When I was a kid, I lived for the Olympics. Oh my mm -hmm. God! And e each one that's gone by as I've gotten older and older, I've I've enjoyed less and less and looked forward to less and less. Pro I don't know why, but one th one thing that I did end up watching that I, if you would have told me ahead of time that I would have sat there and enjoyed it, was the trampoline. I, I saw that, and I was like, you mean to tell me the trampolines is now an Olympic sport? And I was watching those people, and I was blown away by what they're capable of doing. Yeah. yeah. Really? Tramp now, you got me, because I'm thinking the same thing. What the trampolines, really? Yeah. They, they have a very small area to land on, and it's amazing how high they can go, do what they do when they're in the air, on their way up and way down, and then land in that small spot and bounce straight up again. It's wow. it's it's amazing. And then yeah. the the other thing that blew me away was when they're done, when their routine is done, they land and they stay they they land and they stay put when they land. They don't like they're up twenty feet. You would think they would bounce up one more time and be up fifteen feet. Yeah, yeah. You know, bounce up. They land and they stay there. It's crazy. Yeah, so they've got the ability. They they 
counteract the spring by with their legs. You know, yeah, yeah. it is. It is yeah. actually amazing. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look that up. That's it's like bouncy. Big, it's like the all. It's all those kids. You, everybody does those bouncy houses for those birthday parties and stuff. I mean, <laughs> yeah. That's how you get your kids started for Olympic trampoline. You you rent a bouncy house. Okay. It, it, how many raises? Yeah, how many people been drunk and taken over the bouncy house, man? I mean, what? Or a bouncy house? Yeah. No, I've 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 never. I'm I'm ashamed to admit it, but I've never been in a bouncy house. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> I took my son in one when he was like very young, but I've never been in one myself. Mm. Yeah, I, I was in a room with rubber walls one time. Does that count? Oh my god! Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, why not? Yeah, You're fine. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's a. Uh, that's funny, man. No, I I have to admit I didn't watch. Not even one second of the Olympics. Uh, it's probably the first time I didn't. I, I I actually just bought a TV, so I didn't even have a TV to even watch. So, uh, yeah, I didn't. I I I've just heard about different athletes and you you know their their events and stuff, uh, memorable moments. You know, mm-hmm. heard about it a bunch. Just I I didn't actually watch not one second of the Olympics. That's is, un-American, is it Joe. That's un-American. Is it <laughs> As it can be sometimes for uh, for to watch it, I just still have trouble accepting the fact that beach volleyball is an Olympic sport. I just oh, well, that's the one I like to watch. So many sports that are yeah, no, I bought into that. I'm all in on that. Boom, I'm all in on that. Yeah, that's an amazing. I love bum. it too, but that's, is that's it an amazing Olympics? sport? It's an amazing yeah. sport. Rhythmic gymnastics, trampoline. I mean, there's so many weird ones that they've added, but yeah. yeah. Well, well, let's see. Uh, golf is kind of a, yeah. They they brought golf back this year for the first time in a hundred years. Uh, it was okay. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying better. to think of the Olympic events that I heard about. Uh, well, we mentioned uh, the Olympics on your show, Mark, because of the. Uh, all the photography tie into the yeah, to Olympics. Yeah. Dear God, Canon and Nikon just were in full effect over there, man. I oh, mean, yeah. millions of dollars they put towards that. I mean, just to have the, all the equipment ready for the photographers. That's insane. They, yeah. they, they would. They, I bet you they just loaded uh, a couple of shipping containers and just. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, I'm sure. Yeah, like I mean, that. Fill up a couple containers you know. full of. Multi thousand dollar lenses and cameras and ship it over to Brazil and wow. load it in a trailer and have a bunch of techs there to do it. Yeah, I mean that's that's amazing. I mean they they what was it? Um, Getty Images, one of the the big said that they were going to do what like two million images or something they were going to take of the Olympics. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a lot. So hey, here's something kind of here's a style ad. A- Pumpkin chocolate beer. Have you had a pumpkin chocolate beer? No. Mm. I've had a pumpkin stout, but not a pumpkin chocolate. Yeah, I have not had a. I have not had. A, yeah, I don't think I have. Let's so see. Who's brewing it. It looks like. Uh, let's see. Dessert inspired beer. Uh, it looks like Fly Dog. Huh. It looks like it's a. Uh, yeah, you've got Fly Dog Brewery joined up with Salazon Chocolate Company, and they're gonna, and they're going to make uh, pumpkin beer chocolates. Wow. Well, I guess they got to do something. The pumpkins, you know, I mean, there's so many of them out there. They're trying to find something unique. Yeah, so it might generate something interesting. You know. So it's. Sounds like they're gonna making pumpkin beer chocolates. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I'm okay. sure if I can handle that. <laughs> so I don't know how that's gonna work. Uh, let's see. Here's an article from the Baltimore Sun. Here I'll share the screen. That's kind of interesting. So it's. Oh come on! You're killing me here. These stupid ads. <laughs> um, Digital coupons. Ooh. So yeah, it looks like they've they've got their pumpkin IPA and then that dark chocolate sea salt pumpkin IPA. Look at that. Ooh, flying dog. Okay. 
chocolate sea salt IPA. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. So it's a dark chocolate, dark chocolate sea salt pumpkin IPA chocolate. Huh. Hmm. Sound like something you'd uh not sure. I, I I you know, I had some pumpkin stouts last year, but I'm not sure if pumpkin and chocolate is really my thing. I'd yeah. try it. I'll try anything once. And it's a pumpkin yeah. IPA at that. Oh really? So it's it's in a chocolate bar though. It's hmm. That's kind of interesting, yeah. I mean, it's definitely interesting, I think. Uh, it says, the seasonal bar features ingredients Flying Dog uses to make its uh, gourd standard pumpkin IPA, including German Noble Hops and its pumpkin spice blend, according to the news release. A news release. Huh. Starting September 1st, the product will be available for purchase on, uh, on that... Salazon's website, uh, Flying Dogs Tasting Room, and select Whole Food Markets, Safeway, Earth Fair, Mom's Organic Markets, and New Season Markets, and some independent natural stores. Uh, suggest the retail price per bar is four dollars, so it's for four bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, for some organic chocolate, uh, you know that 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 has a beer tie-in, that might be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely different, man. I have not heard of such a thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and then for it to be a pumpkin IPA style, dark, dark chocolate, it's an organic. 72% organic, too. Okay. Uh, and, and it's got some of the hops in it and all that. I, wow. That's an interesting... Uh, Chocolate bar, right there, man. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, and I get. What would you pair that with? What 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 would be the pairing for that? Do you think? Oh, I don't know. Smoke what turkey. Would you, Smoke turkey. No, but I mean, what would you just go ahead and get some of their pumpkin IPA? Some of Flying Dogs pumpkin IPA and pair ah, that with. Hell, yeah, let's just do it. Yeah, IPA and chocolate. <laughs> they got IPA and chocolate together. Just get the IPA. Yeah. We dunk. Yeah, do, now, a do a dunk. Oh, speaking of dunk, yeah, I do have... Did anybody see my... Oh, yes, you get the, the Oreos. Oh, yeah. I did I saw, get... Yeah, one of, my, one, of my, one of my YouTube friends also posted a, a review of one of those Oreo fish... Oreo, whatever they're called. Swedish fish Oreos. I, um, yeah, I, I saw your post about that. You bought it yeah. on eBay. Just to get it. And I saw Swedish fish, and I there's there's this fish thing where they pack all this cod in like barrels full of lye and soak it for some. I'm like they really made an Oreo <laughs> taste like that. Yeah, so, like Swedish fish. It uh, yeah. if you if you like the candy, the Swedish fish candy, uh -huh. then you will probably like the Oreos. Uh, I I took them to work like I always do. I'll buy the specialty packs. Mm -hmm. And I like to. Take them to work. That way, I only have one or two, or maybe, mm -hmm. maybe three cookies to, to get reaction from everyone and see what more people think. You know what I'm saying? And, did you and, find those locally in your area? Because I've not seen them around here. Yeah, I wow. did. They're 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 good. You're gonna find them at a Kroger affiliate. Well, I don't have Kroger in this area. So if you, you look, that's where to look, Kroger. Mm -hmm. So uh, I our Kroger affiliate here is Fries. And uh, yeah, sure enough, they had one little specialty thing of them, and they were, I think, two ninety nine a pack. So um, I and picked it was up on your list, right? Because you, when you go shopping, you probably have a list of all the Oreo flavors, and then the ones you don't have, and you're like, I actually, check that one off. I actually, I actually have the three flavors that they had just announced. Yeah, so oh, that that there was you go. that was one of them. Yeah, I, I, Swedish I, fish. It's or you know. Oh, and it, it, not like a huge Oreo fan, but I love finding the new flavors. Uh, mm -hmm. And now that that's kind of gotten out there, people I, I didn't even know, but when they had first announced those flavors, those three new flavors, uh, chocolate, um, I, I immediately get 
emails and stuff. People let me know about you know they had an announcement, and so <laughs> That's funny. it's cool. So now I you know I guess I'm turned I turned into like an Oreo enthusiast because I do <laughs> like to find the new flavors, and I have had. I, I was counting it up, and I think I've had 18 different flavors so far. Wow. Um, they make that many? <laughs> oh, they make a sh- crap load. Yeah, they make a bunch. There I guess is, I don't there get is... enough Oreos <laughs> to know that. Oh, yeah. The, what did you think of those, Bum? Loved them. Yeah. Loved those them. Are really and I, I, I'm waiting for the opportunity to show these. You know what? Until I started watching you guys talking about Oreos, honest to God, this is no exaggeration. I probably hadn't bought Oreos for the last 15 years. I think I bought maybe five years ago, I bought a pack of uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups Oreos. Mm -hmm. And ever since you guys started talking about them, yeah, I started buying them. (laughs) (laughs) We got strawberry shortcake and s'mores. The s'mores are good. Those are two good flavors, especially with Mm -hmm. milk. There's, I've had uh, the s'mores. I haven't had the strawberry shortcake. Yeah, the oh, peanut, peanut butter. butter. Oh. Those are good because they have the two sides. Did you actually taste the two sides? Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah. The, it, oh, yeah. my Lord. Peanut butter cup, too. Are you, what else? Red velvet? The red velvet's good. It's really sweet, though. But it's, what it's do you doing? good. you like getting the Oreo aisle and trying to find everything? Yeah, you, you you honestly you honestly do. You find yourself well, at least I do. This is my experience. I find myself going through the cookie aisle, just 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 as a point, going through the cookie aisle, and I'm like, okay, is that? Let me see. No, 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 no. no I've had all those. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. The most the most the double stuff. <laughs> yeah, the double. There, there's they, cinnamon bun with cream cheese out now, which I haven't tried yet. Ooh. But uh, I I blame you guys for this. I blame you yeah. because I <laughs> seriously I never paid attention to the Oreo, mm-hmm. you yeah. know, yeah. at the store until you guys started talking about it, and then it, it started catching my eye, and I was like, yeah. Joe's right. There are a whole bunch of different varieties, and mm-hmm. now I grab. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. Exactly. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Anything I can do to bring you that down, you know what I mean? Nestle's going to be sending Joe the royalty check here in just a minute. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be sharing Oreo pretty soon. Yeah, no doubt. It's it. I just it, it it's just one of those things, and it's kind of really, really Americana. Mm-hmm. You know, Oreo is a very old American brand, and so mm-hmm. uh, it's it's you know. It's just one of those things, it, you know, I don't, like I say, I can't say that I'm, but if I were to find out there was an Oreo convention or something kind of not too far and it was enough time for me to, you'd be there. Hey, why not? I'd probably, I just find it kind of fun. I find it Oreos kind of like beer, kind of like mm-hmm. uh, not too serious, just a lot of fun, a lot of people, people that are, you know, laughing and joking and having Oreos and and uh, you know a lot of milk drinking too, and I'm I'm not I, I'm lactose intolerant. I can't, but I, I do take pills, mm-hmm. you know, for and uh, and then I can deal with it. But uh, it's really turned into a thing uh, here because I can get local uh, fresh milk still in glass bottles and everything. Uh, right, the the dairy is literally down the street from my house now, so I when you get fresh milk like that. Literally, it it was brought from the cow five that morning is what they tell me, and then they bottle it, and then you can buy it. It's so it's so fantastic, mm-hmm. and uh, and then you dunk an Oreo in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's heaven, man. <laughs> yeah. You. It's like, so yeah, that's why you can't. At least in my case, I don't have the whole pack to myself. I'll 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 take it to work because yeah, that you'll just you know before you know it, you. And I've talked to other Oreo enthusiasts, and you kind of talk about it like drugs, like a lot of drug references, and you're like, oh yeah, I'll do a line by myself. <laughs> and that's you know the whole roll of Oreos. You know, you like, yeah, I'll just do a line all by myself, man. <laughs> I did an eight ball of these. Oh, I did a whole eight ball. Yeah. 
Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you can run some Oreo cups, though. I I'm not sure how they would. I, I should probably try one in Oreo because I've always been a big fan of Reese's cups. Yeah, see, Reese's cups are good too. Uh, and uh, it well, um, Bums of course been to Hershey, Pennsylvania. It's it's awesome going through uh, that whole. Sp- that whole town's chocolate is it's 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 heaven over there. I swear. Well, I'm not sure when you were last there, Joe, but it's great. You can go to you can spend some time at the Hershey Chocolate Factory, then drive a mile or two down the road to the Troge Brewery. Oh, right now, near the Hershey's factory. Now, see, I used to haul out of that that Hershey uh, plant there, so I didn't I didn't I didn't uh, I don't have any memories of that strobe, but um, Troge T R O E G S. Troge, mm-hmm. they they have a, their brewery is their new brewery is located a couple of miles from the Hershey factory. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, it's been a ton of years. The last time I hauled chocolate out of uh, out of Hershey was ooh, in the late nineties. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you could say that was a re- that was a pretty sweet load, huh? Yeah, that was a pretty sweet load. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you said too. No. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. Oh, I like it. I like it. I didn't even do that one. No, I, I, I held back that. on my, what I was. I was going to say something about taking the Hershey Highway, but I. Oh. I <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. Nice. See, I didn't even do that one. You can't blame that on no. me. No, Joe's the setup guy, though. I used yeah. to haul out of Hershey. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> loads of chocolate. Yeah. yeah. All 18 wheels in the Hershey Highway there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> right up the Hershey Highway. <laughs> Blow your horn on the Hershey Highway. <laughs> <laughs> I grinded my gears up the Hershey Highway. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, <laughs> we better go, man. It's a classic um, ending. All right. <laughs> thanks, guys. We'll appreciate it, man. Hey, Jeff, thanks for jumping in yeah. again. You're welcome. Good seeing you, man. Jeff. Uh, good Always to see you. Time. All right, Bum, thanks for hanging in there, man. You made it. You yes. made it. Made it work. Yeah. Anybody listening, don't buy a Digiland brand tablet. That's all I can <laughs> say. <laughs> you can drown your sorrows in a line of Oreos and a, and a, a stein full of, of uh, Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest, yeah. exactly. It's, it's all yeah. good. Yeah. Ooh, you might and try. I'll, I'll be in touch with you sometime this week, Mark, about hooking up. So. Yes. Yep. Yep. I was. I'll send. I'll let you know what our schedule is. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Sounds good. This didn't yeah. turn into Tinder, did it? This ain't Tinder. Uh, <laughs> this... <laughs> wow. That went a whole different direction. <laughs> 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 okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you know,